My earliest sort of memory of, of uh, music or my first sort of musical experience uh, was with my dad. Uh, my dad is in a, uh, was in a band for 30 years called the Hillbillies, uh, which I'm very proud of. Uh, and I just remember uh, being a kid and he dragged me on stage with his band uh, to sing uh, The Fields of Athen Rye, which is a very famous sort of Irish song. Um, and I was terrified, but it was exhilarating. I was terrified and I was thrilled. Well, I, co I come from um, a very large family uh, and there's a lot of different musical tastes within my family. So uh, as a kid, I sort of rebelled against what my father would listen to, you know. Um, and I was a, a kid of the grunge era when I was 15. So Pearl Jam and Nirvana and Sonic Youth, that was really, for me, um, when music properly opened up and I realised that it was I could express myself through this, you know, medium. And I did. I must be lost in Oslo or Tokyo so Let me lost in your world. You know, once I sort of got out of my teens and into my early twenties, and that's when I discovered uh, like Nick Drake. John Martin uh, properly delved into, you know, Bob Dylan and Crosby, Sills and Nash, and all of a sudden I realised the reason why these people are still, you know, people still listen to them because they're absolutely incredible. Um, so I think I kind of got a lot of the angst <laughs> out of my system by the time I was like in my early twenties, and then, you know, wanted to mimic Joni Mitchell. I, what I do with my music is I, I, I try to. Um, all right, there's no way around it. Like I steal, I absolutely steal. If I hear, you know, a riff, um, like a New Order riff or something like that, that I think is amazing, I'm gonna try to incorporate. Actually, that's a better way of. I'll incorporate it into my music. Um, but I think everybody does that. Everybody's influenced and inspired by other people, and you can't help but sort of once it gets it gets into your system, um, you know, you're gonna take on certain traits musical traits that you that you like so it is I mean it, it's stealing but we all do it so it's fine uh, my first instrument was uh, piano just because it was there um, and then it, I went to college in UCD up in Dublin uh, and my flatmate had a guitar and she showed me some chords so I sort of started late on the guitar probably around 18 and um, and I used to just mitch off school or lectures and that was really when it sort of kind of hit home for me that I didn't have a choice, I kind of had to do this in order to be seen. I'm a big believer in mastering an instrument so that you can get the, the most out of it. Um, I know a lot of singers, people who are sort of labelled singers, tend to kind of fumble around in guitar because it, they focus mainly on the voice. But I, I'm pretty much a musician, and um, singing for me, I wasn't interested in singing. I wanted to be in a band, and I wanted to be a guitar player, um, and singing just happened afterwards. So, guitar and making sure that I can play it well is really important to me. I remember Paul McCartney uh, being interviewed, and, and he said that. You know, at one point in his life, he used to get up at nine and write songs from nine to five. You know, um, and I wish I had that discipline, but I don't. And I certainly don't wait for inspiration to, you know, sort of come upon me because that's rare. You know, so I usually write, at, you know, in the wee hours of the morning when the world is sort of asleep, um, and I can just think clearly. That's that's usually, and. Probably when I'm really tired or really hungover, for some reason that's when I write my best songs. 
Like you need to work hard. You can't be sitting around just waiting for things to to happen. Um, and it's a lot of hard work. But for me, usually the initial idea is something very precious and magical. And then the hard work comes in when I actually have to like hammer it into verse, chorus, and, and you know make it interesting for other people. Uh, what inspires me, it, 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 just good days, you know, some days are really good and uh, really good conversations inspire me, you know, if I meet somebody where I just connect with them and we chat for hours, um, something about that interaction just makes me feel really good and I tend to sort of vibe off that for a few days and, and write songs. Um, my life isn't that exciting. You know, so sometimes uh, a really good movie will inspire me. Um, I'll, I'll be able to empathise, obviously, with it. I need to be able to empathise in order to write a song. But um, uh, I like I just watched Death in Venice recently uh, with Dirk Bogart, which is a really old film, but it just it moved me to tears. It was incredible. Um, bit depressing, but but really good. Uh, well, I've been really lucky. Um, in my life so far because I've gotten to work with a lot of people that I literally um, just would have dreamed about working with. Um, I've, I've worked with Kevin Shields from My Bloody Valentine and um, I've had the pleasure of, of uh, working with Mark Lucas from Sparkle Horse and um, I mean there's the obvious ones like you know Bob Dylan and stuff like that but you know I, I would love to like write a song with M83 or um, Bonnie Ver, I mean, there's, those people are just. I'd love, actually, I'd love to work with somebody who's completely different. So, somebody like, or a band like M83, um, and just, you know, try to mush folk and that sort of electronic music together. That would be kind of cool. You know, years ago, I had like a five-piece band and we played Rock and Park and Rock and Ring and it was incredible and we, we like put together a really rocking set list and um, it just blew my mind. We, we, we turned up and it was, the, the, the marquee was jammed, there was probably about 3,000 people in there and I couldn't hear myself because they were singing back the lyrics um, at the top of their voice and I hadn't, I, it, it just blew my mind and I I was like, I felt like a rock star for 40 minutes. <laughs> Thank you so much, have a great night.